at uh, Sutton Coalfield after the FA Cup tie against Romulus is manager Peter Beadle. How tough a game was that? Uh, tough to watch. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and tough tough for us because we, we were poor, extremely poor. Um, hugely disappointed with the performance. Um, showed a complete lack of character, I thought, at times today. We weren't brave enough to get on the play. And, uh, and, and yet again, not clinic enough in the final third. We should have had the game wrapped up way before they even got in the game. How much did the pitch surface play a part? The pitch is fine. We've, we've trained on it, so it's, that, that, that's not, you know, that's fine. So you came into into the game with a, a good run of victories, but you were hoping to, to maintain that surely today. Yeah, of course you want to win every game. So we won every game we play in, and today was was no different. And the referee seemed to come in, into effect in that second half. A couple of controversial decisions. What did you think first of all on the penalty? It's too far away for me to see. Um, but the lads are saying there was no contact, um, and I can't comment on the referee. I thought I think you know everyone was here to see it today, and he's just not fit enough to referee at, at this level of football, not in this type of game. I thought from start to finish it was all about him. Um, I thought he made some ridiculous decisions. I mean, there seven lashed out at uh, Pablo off the ball, then then. F- Remonstrated in front of the lines from the referee, which is a booking on its own. Still never booked him, and then eventually started dishing out yellow cards for, for innocuous challenges. So I think it was quite disruptive for the game, which didn't let the game go. Um, but that doesn't take away from how poor we were. So you know, we were poor, and you know, referee or not, we still had enough chances to win the game. What do you put that down to then? Because obviously, <laughs> confidence has been asking the wrong person. You ask the ones that are in the changing room. Um, you demand character, you demand we, effort. Which, which is what we always do, but you know, for, for whatever reason today, we were lacking it. And we need to, we need to make sure it comes back for Tuesday, because now we've got another fixture on Tuesday, one that we didn't want, but we've got it. How up to date are you in terms of knowing whether that suspension for Pablo Haitian comes into effect immediately, or is it, does it take okay, quite a while? I think it's two weeks. So it'll be two weeks from today. So it'll be the next round of the FA Cup, or possibly Poland at home. You rotated things to a degree, brought Jimmy Oates back in and you gave a start to Alex Harris in goal. Um, overall, how do you feel he played, Alex Harris? I thought he'd done fine. Obviously, you know, didn't concede a goal apart from the penalty and that's always a lottery. We didn't rotate it deliberately. It was forced on us. John wasn't well before the game and pulled me before the game and said he wasn't feeling very well. He'd been up all night, uh, being sick and diarrhoea. So obviously that was why he was on the bench. Um, Alex played because Martin is away. Um, and so they're forced, their changes are forced on us. So, but like I said, I thought for 20 minutes we did quite well, and then we got the goal. And after the goal, we seemed to, we just seemed to, you know, get, let them get a foothold in the game and, and gave them uh, a big incentive to come out second half because just before the half they finished stronger than we did. And you know, like I said, we've just gone one nil up, and I thought for 20 minutes we played quite well. Because initially I thought Jamie Cust was playing well up there. I, what's the extent of his injury? Yeah, well, we don't. Well, hopefully not too serious, but he's jarred, he's twisted and jarred his knee. Like I said, that could happen on any surface. More likely, a high percentage of it to happen on this one. But it was just a shame because I thought he did okay up until up until then. But like I said, so we get a chance to play again. I mean, I think it shows everything. The fact that we're disappointed and actually gutted that we didn't win, and they were quite happy to to, to take what they took. So you can now look at it, say we know what the opposition are all about. We need to up our game. And the players need to turn up and want to win. You know, I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying they didn't want to win, but sometimes people aren't going to hand it to you. You've got to go and earn it in every game you play, whether. You know, like I said, Bishop's Cleave, they held on till very close to half time. We managed to nick a goal. Again, we should have been four up before they got before we got the goal. And then we did the same thing second half and wore them down and, and then the game becomes comfortable. And today we, we didn't do that. Today we scored the goal and we did what we did last year. We took a foot off the pedal and, and you know and, and stepped backwards and you can shout as much as you want to get them to get them involved on it, but unless they're prepared to do it and step up to the plate, then it wasn't to be. But like I said, what they have done is they've held on in. Because yet again, I think the referee did his best to try and get him a winner right at the end with the free kick. Um, but we've held on and, uh, and we need to be better on Tuesday. Thanks for your time.